I think we've talked enough. I want to see this truck in action. Let's take a look at the all new F-150. You are a rare breed. You just spent 65,000 on a truck. You are probably going to be homeless when your wife finds out. But that's okay, because you have a 2021 Ford F-150. You come prepared. You're not afraid of anything. You're ready for those long, lonely nights. Just you and your truck. The 2021 F-150 has finally been revealed and it looks amazing. I'm absolutely in love. Ford, if you're watching, come take my money. If I could afford a trim level above an XL. Now we've kind of already seen this truck, but when it had that camouflage wrap that manufacturers use to hide their vehicles from the public. So we couldn't really give it our full analysis of the truck, but now seeing it in its final form, guys, these things look amazing. Now, they picked up an odd choice for their poster boy. They got, they got old chrome out here. Uh, yo, huh? Oh, okay, uh, what's going on here? Why is everything chrome? Everything is chrome in the future. A little too much chrome for my taste. But obviously, Ford being Ford, these trucks are highly configurable. A lot of options, a lot of choices to pick from when building your truck. Okay, folks, we are just getting word that the F-150 has been recalled seconds after its grand reveal. What a shame. I kid, folks. I kid. I mean, I own the truck, so I, I'm able to make fun of it. That's just the perks you get when buying a Ford. Joking aside, I wanted to go over some of the details and features that this truck offers that struck out to me the most. Uh, we'll go over the other features because this truck did get jam-packed with some new things and new toys uh, but I wanted to go over some of the stuff that I found more interesting and we'll go ahead and start off with the front end we've seen the headlamps we've seen the bumper we've seen the looks but we didn't see the grills according to Ford they have 11 different options let me get this straight did you say 11 different grills 11 different grills now if you're like me this is a bad thing indecisive I've already gone through three different grills on my truck so Moving on with the front end, Ford has added an active air dam to the truck which will automatically lower and raise when reaching certain speeds, uh, but this feature will not be standard, it will only be available on a few different models. Next, Ford gave us two different LED options for the headlights, one being a projector style headlights and the other being an LED reflector style. Moving on, a truck of this caliber is sure to have all sorts of computers, techs, and cameras on it, and it does. We find intersection assist. Cameras on the front will basically read oncoming traffic and apply brakes for you if you do not do it during an intersection turn. Ford also included active drive assist, basically hands-free driving with all the tech that they have. So Tesla, watch yourself. Switching over to the rear of the truck, we see that Ford has continued the C-clamp design on the taillights, uh, as well as removing the F-150 stamping uh, from the tailgate, which is a no-no. More importantly, let's talk about that work surface tailgate space, guys. Absolutely brilliant idea on Ford's end to, do, to incorporate this into their tailgate. Very useful. And not only that, they thought about this too, and threw in a generator in the back of the truck, enough to power a home, mind you guys. So, Ford definitely put some thought into this definitely a must-have for the fleet version of the truck so Ford is trying really hard to target the tradesmen I just hope that a tradesman is able to afford these trucks let's swing on over to the SATA truck and talk about the power running boards now if you do have a key they will automatically come on down for you as you approach the truck or you could always just kick the thing why not punt it it's the same way I started my old WRX do you love resting your hand on the console shifter, but hate having zero space to work with inside your truck? Fear no more, Ford has designed a unique feature that nicely stores away the console shifter and exposes a giant, flat platform. Nice workspace for you to throw your laptop on, work on an estimate, update your Facebook status. Moving on to the screen, it's big. Now those of you who tow or haul with your truck, you'll be happy to find that Ford included a trailer backup assist. Uh, which is exactly what the name implies, help you reverse the trailer and position it perfectly to make you look like that seasoned veteran, not that rookie over there. 
Now this is all easily done with the easy breezy turn of a knob, so makes life a lot easier. But not only that, Ford also included trailer reverse guidance. Uh, remember all those sensors and computers and cameras that Ford packed into this truck? Well, this is one of the uses they put that to. Going back to the interior, Ford is making sync for standard on all F-150s, uh, which for them is basically updated maps, updated navigation, faster phone connectivity. Uh, if someone could correct me actually, is sync still powered by Microsoft? Moving on to the rear of the interior, we see that Ford has included a rear underseat lockable storage. Now this is a pretty good feature to add uh, to tag along with the max recline seats in the front. This is literally now a hotel on wheels. So that's fantastic. It's good thinking on Ford's part. Last thing I wanted to talk about was the Power Boost Hybrid. Now this is Ford's hybrid electric F-150 pickup that they released. It's their twin turbo 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 engine with a 35 kilowatt electric motor that uh, comes out to 47 horsepower. Now all this is matched with their standard 10 speed automatic transmission, which by the way, a 3.3 mixed in with the 10 speed I think would bring in some pretty dang good fuel results um, but the whole setup this whole hybrid setup makes sense it all works out you know you're on your boat you're towing your boat you're on the boat ramp you got that low end crawl speed you have that instant torque you have the built-in generator in the back of the truck to work with along with the workspace tailgate which is my favorite bit all of it works. My only concern here is that this is Ford's first attempt at the hybrid pickup. Now this by no means is revolutionary. Manufacturers have already done this to their half tons, but this is Ford's take on it. So I would steer clear from their initial release models uh, because they will probably end up having some bugs and some tinkering that needs to be done. Now if you really want your hands on this truck, your best bet is to wait a little bit until it reaches the U-Haul lots and then you can rent this sucker out for $19.95. With that said, I'd like to hear your thoughts and opinions on the Power Boost, uh, as well as the F-150 overall. Now, as I've mentioned before, I, for one, like the direction Ford is taking the F-150 in. The, the added refinement, the elegance, it works. And yes, they may have stripped a little bit of the toughness and ruggedness from the previous generation, but that is just the era we are in with trucks, folks. Expensive luxury trucks are in, and cheap, affordable trucks are out unless you want to pick up a fleet version and now we wait to see how the public reacts to the f-150 once it hits the lot and to see if ford really did make the right call because right now their numbers in stocks aren't exactly the greatest which is a little funny for having the number one selling truck and all those fleet sales and mustang sales so it's kind of odd but we shall see what happens i for one cannot wait to see it in person so i can trade in my xl to get one of their XLs, guys. That that tailgate workspace, it's brilliant. That is gonna do it for today's video. If you enjoyed, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. All that will be down below in the description. I appreciate y'all making it this far in this video. Greatly appreciate it. I will catch you all on the next one. Peace and take care.